thing what's good youtube king blazer bringing you another xbox news video and with the release date and also price reveal coming right around the corner there's been lots of rumors and speculations on what the price will be and when it's going to drop i figured with one of these more interesting rumors around i figured why not share it with you again if you guys are new to the channel also make sure to hit that subscribe to join the vibe slap that like button really helps the channel grow also i'm always on twitch playing these different games so you can always follow me and check me out over there i do got a twitter set up so you know exactly when i drop my new videos and when i go live on twitch i appreciate each and every one's support let's get into it so if you've been gaming as long as i have you know that there used to be a time when consoles came with video games and then there was a time when consoles stopped coming with video games but what if i told you that now there might be a console coming out without a controller yeah that sounds kind of weird wouldn't you say kind of backwards if you think about it because why would you want to buy a, a console with no controller that's what i thought when i first heard of it but if there's a very interesting rumor and the reason i say interesting because it might work if they plan it correctly see it seems like xbox is trying to pull out all the stops whatever it takes whatever we gotta do to beat sony and this is another idea that's been circulating that I think might work if they get the messaging out correctly. You see, Sony has already dropped the ball and said they're not going to allow us to use our PlayStation 4 controllers on our PlayStation 5. Our PlayStation 4 controller will only work on a few of their backwards compatible games. But if you are trying to play a PlayStation 5 game with your PlayStation 4 controller, it won't work. But microsoft xbox of course is taking a little bit of a different approach like they do with everything that sony does and they're saying that we can use our xbox one controllers on our new xbox series x and that opens the window to the new format that they're looking to drop their consoles with see there's a rumor going out saying that xbox series x might be released as an option with no controller now you say why would you want to buy a system with no controller well maybe there is people out there that already have an xbox one they're not looking to get 4k and able to save themselves a little money and say hey why don't i just use the controller that i already have with my xbox one buy me my xbox lock card i don't need a controller because i already have one and save me a few dollars on everything jeff grubb says I think the big thing here is a Lockhart without a controller at a surprisingly low price. And the reason he came up with this is because he was asked to wonder if it will be a last minute bundle like an extra controller with a free game or something like that with purchase varied at different stores. And you know, different stores are able to go ahead and make bundles and you know, make it a little bit more profitable when they sell these systems. According to Jeff Grubb, very reliable insider, there might be a Lockhart with no controller. So be on the lookout for that. Cause I'm sure if they bring out a system with no controller, best believe that that system is gonna be a lot cheaper than any PlayStation 5 or any Xbox Series X. And with that strategy, they're able to get Xbox's consoles into more houses. So I see where they're going with it. I really hope that they get the message out correctly cause I would hate for them to fumble this and there'd be like three, four different Xboxes in the market and no one know which one to buy. And just because it's so confusing, you just go pick up a PlayStation. So again, I always believe that it's all about messaging, making sure that the consumer knows exactly what they're getting and why it's beneficial to get it that way. If they can do that, hey, again, another way to undercut Sony. Again, I appreciate everyone coming out to check the video. What do you guys think? Would you want to buy a console if it didn't come with a controller and if it wasn't 4K and all digital? Would that be something that you're interested in? Or would you rather just put up the money and get, you know, what you what you really want? Pay for what you get for. It seems like PlayStation is going that route and Xbox is catering to a different type of demographic, trying to get Xboxes and the game passes into as many houses as possible. Again, I appreciate everyone's support. Thanks for coming to check the video out. If you guys do enjoy these type of videos, make sure to hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Again, like I said, I do play these games on Twitch. So make sure to go ahead and follow me over there. I got Twitter set up. So go ahead and follow me on Twitter as well. I appreciate each and everyone's support. Y'all know how this thing goes. 
It's the king!